always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Well, after the January cloudathon, we ended up with 88% available sunshine for yesterday, the first day of February, and we'll wake up to some sunshine out there this morning. So far, looking at fairly quiet weather conditions this morning, a little on the breezy side. The winds will pick up this afternoon as that Arctic cold front gets set to roll on through. Temperatures this morning, teens to low 20s in most inland areas with that southwesterly wind. Areas along the lakeshore have temps around or touch above 30 degrees, so a wide range of temperatures depending upon exactly where you're located in uh, the proximity to Lake Michigan. Wind chills or feels like readings. Most inland areas down in the single figures were 20 in Fremont, 22 Muskegon. As we see that Arctic cold front blow through the area, air temperatures will be sub zero tomorrow morning and wind chills will be on the order of 10 to maybe 20 below zero. So this is going to be a much, much colder air mass that settles in for tonight, tomorrow into early Saturday morning. A moderating trend next week though, temperatures will be back into the 30s as early as the weekend. So here's a look at Storm Track Live this morning. Again, a couple of flurries up around Nuevo, Big Rapids. There's been a huge snow and ice event from Texas, Oklahoma to Arkansas, Tennessee, now stretching up into Southern Kentucky and West Virginia. We are missing out completely on that moisture because of this area of high pressure, which is working to really suppress that or keep that well off to our south. We are watching this front, that Arctic cold front by three o'clock this afternoon. It will be rolling southward through the region Region. And as it continues to drop southward, we'll continue to see the core of that cold Arctic air settle into the Great Lakes region from the north, and that will send our temperatures tumbling. Again, later this evening and overnight tonight, our winds will be on the increase as well. Temperatures tonight will drop down below zero. You can see the stack up of that really cold air off to our north and west, and this is the air mass that we are going to be tapping as we head through later today, tonight, into tomorrow, tomorrow night, and early Saturday morning. So get set to really uh, pick up some very cold air. In fact, this will be the coldest air we have seen so far this season. Temperatures do turn around quickly on Saturday up to around 30 degrees. Chance of a few snow showers on Sunday and a wintry mix developing by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week with high temps approaching 40 degrees. And again, it is Groundhog Day, so we'll find out a little later this morning how much more winter we have. So Tom, any issues for drivers this morning? Right now, things do remain quiet out there across area roadways as we kick off our Thursday morning commute. Starting you with a live look, this is US 130 one at Hall Street and you can see obviously we have very light traffic out there right now and we are working with clear and dry conditions across all lanes of traffic. As we take a look at the freeway situation heading into and around the downtown Grand Rapids area, if you are getting ready to head out the door and make your uh, uh, trip uh, right now, we are crash free. M6, 131, 196 and I-96 all crash free. I'll have another check of that Thursday morning commute coming up for you in about 15 minutes. Teresa and Donovan.